Hello, today we're going to talk about word proofing options. And this is one of the more advanced topics in Word, but it's also one that you might be asked to mess around with at some point. Anything I refer to as advanced typically is under the File tab, and of course it's under Options. And so what we're really talking today is about the proofing tab. And so there's two things that I'd like to point out in here. One of them is custom dictionaries. So custom dictionaries, probably the easiest way to explain this is if I go in here, edit word list, this is that set of words which I have added to my dictionary. So when you run a spell check, uh, sometimes if it says the word's wrong, it's wrong, but sometimes there are proper nouns, right, like people's names and such. And so those are the kind of things that you can either ignore, you can add them to your dictionary. Uh, I, wouldn't, I don't know if you've ever wondered, but I oftentimes think, what if I accidentally add some, some incorrect words to my dictionary, which should get caught by a spell check, which don't? Well, you can certainly head into here, and you can delete words from your... And so you are now kind of cleaning up or resetting that uh, spell check tool. So I click OK. So now I want to talk about autocorrect options, and that's really the point of this video. I just thought we were here, so let's look at custom dictionaries. So autocorrect options. There's some really cool stuff in here. So before I do anything, let me just put this in perspective. How about I misspell a word like that? Notice as soon as I press the space bar, it gets autocorrected. And so we're talking about the place where those come from. So again, I'm back to options, back to proofing, autocorrect options. And so the reason that there gets autocorrected is because of this autocorrect tab right here. So if I spell it wrong, Sure enough, you can see there's the uh, that's the reason it gets corrected. You can see, so they've listed all these very common misspellings of words, and this is what it gets replaced with automatically. So this autocorrect tab is typically used, just you don't even notice it. You might sometimes think that you thought you made a mistake when you're typing, but it got fixed for you, and that's probably how it happened. Now another pretty cool thing that you can do from here, I'll show you a rule which I created already. So for example, I write Central Oregon Community College a lot, so I created a rule, so when I type COCC, it automatically spits out the unabbreviated word. It's not always great, because sometimes my documents are just unnecessarily lengthy, but uh, it's a pretty cool trick. Let's do another one just to kind of show you what you could do with this. So you, I've shown you pre-existing rules. How about every time I press swore, I want to create the word sword out. And so how, here's how this works. I add it, I click OK, click OK. And now if I type S-W-A-R space, my name comes out automatically. So that's a pretty cool trick. Um, you don't want to get too carried away with that though. It probably doesn't take too much imagination to uh, imagine how you can get into trouble. Maybe I would want to make a rule where I write can and it turns into Canada. Obviously that would be a disaster because I would never be able to type the word can again. So you don't want to get too carried away with these rules and they're typically just used to autocorrect mistakes, but you can also use them to uh, apply some formatting to some frequently misspelled or abbreviated words as well. So that's the autocorrect tab and I consider it loosely related to custom dictionaries. So now you know a little bit about the word options proofing group. Thanks for watching.